How to get verified on OpenSea easy way. Hi there, you guys. Welcome to another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you a couple of ways for you to get verified here on OpenSea. There are two ways or two or yeah types of verification. Um, either you get your personal account verified or get your collection verified. Well, I can say that getting your personal account verified is a lot easier compared to when you're trying to get your collection verified but before you can get a verification mark or a blue check mark beside your profile you need to know the eligibility of yeah before submitting a form you know um getting verified actually you just have to like submit a form on OpenSea, all right here using this link but before you submit this form you guys make sure that you are eligible now let's talk about what is a verified account or collection now a blue check mark on an account or collection means that it has been verified by OpenSea. now account verification whether an account gets verified on OpenSea is up to OpenSea's discretion the following guidelines are meant to give the community more predictability but they don't give a complete picture of our policies and procedures we will always make the decision we believe is best for the space based on the best information we can source and that's according to N uh, OpenSea now eligible accounts um, what are the things they need to keep in mind before submitting the form uh, eligible account um, defined as be active and this is when you are buying or selling one or more NFTs within the past three months. That's the first one. Next is you should have an email address configured. Next is you should have a profile picture together with your banner configured. Next is not be previously restricted for violating OpenSea's terms of service so you guys make sure that all of these criteria apply to you because if one fails you won't be able to get verified on OpenSea. now another um way to be uh to get verified is you know yeah right here let's um uh, jump right into number four but let's go back to the other items later on um accounts already verified by established social media platforms now if you can get your twitter verified you guys um it can be easier to get your OpenSea account verified with the same email that you used on your twitter account now there are tons of tutorials out there how to get verified on twitter in 2021 and this is one of uh, the ways that I found. Now, step one is make sure that your profile meets Twitter's activity standards. And there's a separate criteria for that. Next is you can go to your, yeah. This is actually the most crucial step of this, uh, uh, yeah, uh, of this steps. Anyway, so Twitter's activity standards. So what is this? So you should, um, yeah. Uh, what is Twitter's inactive account policy? How does Twitter determine inactivity? Basically the same thing. Uh, make sure that you are eligible to be verified here on Twitter. But, you know, because there are a lot more things that you can do on Twitter compared to what you can do here in OpenSea, uh, which actually involves money every time you, like, click or, you know... Um, uh, click or submit something or verify something in OpenSea, it needs money. So uh, one easy way is to get um, one of your social media accounts verified. And then after that, it's uh, pretty much easy to be verified here on OpenSea. Now let's go back to this part. Now account verification review eligibility is concentrated on accounts in four categories so we have here four categories first is accounts created by or closely involving people or companies that are notable in art entertainment technology music sports gaming news politics or activism the account must be an official effort of or officially endorsed by the underlying notable entity we have here some examples that they provided such as Ai Weiwei, Sean Mendes, Rob Gronkowski, Nate Shot, Time Magazine, and Malala Yousafzai. Now second is accounts with common uncommonly notable artistic 
technical or social innovations or merit. We have here some examples like Richard, Simon de la Rivière, and Robness. Third is accounts with an urgent and unusually severe fraud risk. Example is like Budweiser, Damien Hurst, the Boston Celtics. And lastly, accounts already verified by established social media platforms. Now, I talked about that a while ago, that when you get your Twitter verified or any other social media platform, it's going to be automatically be verified here on OpenSea or at least a lot easier. Now, we have eligible accounts, right? Um, yes, you happen to meet all of this criteria, but it doesn't mean you can get verified because you met all of this criteria. We also have ineligible accounts here on OpenSea. Now, these are accounts, you know, that won't be eligible for verification review. They won't even bother to review your applications. Some factors that make an account ineligible for review are accounts that engage or indicate a willingness to engage in manipulative or deceptive buying, selling, bidding, and offering well i'm not sure how this works in the nft world but of course um who likes to be conned and to con right i mean people likes to con people sometimes but yeah that's not a good thing here on OpenSea to do because you know we're talking about nfts money stuff like that next is accounts that create collections that use copyrighted materials or trademarks without a license or use material that infringes on protected rights or publicity. Now, there are um, a lot of issues out there about this, you know, using photo editors just to revise how a photo looks like. Well, not sure. Next is accounts that are regularly operated by users under 18 years old, even if the account belongs to a parent or guardian in accordance with our TOS. All right, I don't know how they know this, but yeah i don't know if there's like a legit way to know if someone who operates the account is under 18 years old i'm not sure uh lastly an eligible an eligible account means any account that violates open seas terms of service now you can view the terms of service by you know just checking out um open sea and yeah you can also lose your verification now, if you engage in a conduct that would disqualify you from account verification eligibility, you might lose your verified status. That doesn't mean that you, you know, you're now verified that you can actually do the, all of this ineligible stuff right here. You can get you lose your verification instead. Now, another way is to get your collection verified. Now, blue check marks are reserved for collections created by high profile public figures or organizations. Now, if you are not a high profile public figure or organization, your collection must first reach a trading volume of 100 ETH or more on OpenSea and have all collections items revealed. Now, you guys, it's on bald letters, so you know that it's really important now that said reaching this trading threshold alone does not ensure a collection will be automatically verified so these are the examples you guys um draft files of nft collection nft items contact information now even if a project meets the threshold OpenSea reserves the right to decline verification as well as remove verification if the collection is not in line with our community guidelines that's according to OpenSea. and furthermore OpenSea does not verify spin-off homage or remix collections at this time this is done to protect users from misinterpreting such collections as having an artificial relationship with the original collection so you guys two ways to get verified get your personal account verified or get a collection verified easiest way to get verified is to get your personal account verified one way to do that is to get your socials verified as well like twitter instagram facebook now if you happen to meet all of this criteria of eligible accounts and if you haven't done any of this ineligible things by you know uh or call ineligible stuff by open c now you can actually send in your form here using this link right over 
here you guys now what you want to do is to just choose what verification you're applying for it can either be for an account verification or a collection verification it's really up to what you're trying to get verified so yeah that's it you guys let me know what you think down in the comments below but that's it for this video i will see you again in the next one peace out